historic Magnolia House in Greensboro has a lot happening this summer. And in honor of Miles Davis Tribute Month, they are searching for a talented artist to create a new piece for the home. And they also have a variety of programs and events for visitors to experience in the near future. That's right. And this morning, we want to say good morning to Natalie Pass. Miller here. She's here to tell us just a little bit more. Her and her husband are the owners of the historic Magnolia House. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Good morning. Thank you guys for having me. Absolutely. We have to just start off with the history of the Magnolia House. It's got quite a storied past. So you've got to tell us just a bit more so people can maybe just learn a little bit before they head out. Absolutely. So the historic Magnolia House is the African-American uh, historic hotel where black travelers could safely stay uh, during the Jim Crow era. Um, we are a Green Book um, historic site. And so for those that aren't familiar with the Green Book, um, the Green Book was essentially the, what we call the yellow pages for safe, uh, safe places that black travelers could stop. And so we were listed in six editions of that green, of the Green Book and starred in each of those editions, um, which also symbolized back in the 50s that we were the only hotel of prominence between Richmond, Virginia and Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and so because of that, um, we are truly a site of civil rights activism, um, but we are also a site of safe haven and safe places for um, some of our historic guests that have stayed with us, which a lot of them are artists, um, musicians, speakers, athletes, et cetera. Wow, what a rich history. And you yes. can see some of those elements too in some of the pictures that we're showing, but also some modern elements almost. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us about you and your husband's restoration journey and what inspired it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's been a journey for sure. Uh, so what inspired it actually um, is keeping the, keeping the site really in the family. Um, and really the inspiration has been from all the hard work that my dad, Sam Pass, did um, to even save the building, to keep it from being demolished, um, which is very common, unfortunately, in the world of black historic sites. Um, and so he bought it from the um, original Green Book Hotel owners back in 95. And uh, we stepped in about, I don't know, six, five or six years ago. And I don't know, I stopped counting. Um, <laughs> to really take it on and, and just help taking dad's vision and carrying it over the finish line, if you will. Um, and so how that journey has translated um, has it, we, I guess the first year we were going back and forth between Atlanta and here. And then after that year, my husband and I decided to um, pick up and move our family here specific for the Magnolia House project. Um, and so when we moved here, I would say it was about two or three months after uh, is when the Green Book movie came out. Mm. Um, and, and I'll tell you, uh, that is what really kind of stopped us in our tracks, right? Um, you know, we got a page, uh, an email the very next week, um, and it was an image of the Green Book page with Magnolia House in it. So if that isn't a humbling moment, I don't know what is. <laughs> so that's when we really had to stop and assess, well, what does this mean? What are we gonna do with this information? Um, and then how do we engage the community to be a part of this and to be knowledgeable about that? And so that's what really kicked off our, um, our foundation, um, which has houses our arts programming and our education programming. And Natalie, you have a message for the community, for artists out there. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this tribute artist call and who is encouraged to submit their work. Mm. Yes, so um, I will say everything we do in Magnolia House is very intentional to make sure that we are honoring it as a fully 100%, not only structural, but functional 1949 Green Book Hotel. And so that's what the community gets to experience when they come into um, the house and they walk the very wall uh, halls and um, stay in the very rooms that all of our historic guests stayed as a living museum. And so um, when we think about the intentionality of our work, uh, you know, historically, um, so the guest family who were the Green Book Hotel owners, um, one, they had three children, one of which his name was Buddy Guest. 
And so um, Buddy Gist and Miles Davis were really, really good friends. They met uh, up in Harlem, and that really just sparked this relationship that they had um, to the point where they were traveling with each other. Of course, he'd be in New York with Miles' music career. There was a coffee company that they both um, worked together or invested in. Um, and all the things. And so um, as a result of that really close friendship, um, Miles gifted Buddy his trumpet from his Kind of Blue album. And so um, before Buddy passed away, he donated that trumpet to the UNCG uh, Music School, which is what prompted the um, development of the UNCG Miles Davis Jazz Program. And so when we think about that relationship, um, Magnolia House has felt the need to really honor and pay tribute to that relationship and to the artist uh, of Magnolia House, particularly Miles Davis, which is what prompted us to do our very first annual uh, Miles Davis Tribute Month. And um, it is the celebratory anniversary of the August release of his Kind of Blue album. And so what's gonna be included in that is our arts crawl, um, as well as our um, Miles Davis tribute jazz concert. And so the arts crawl, um, this here is, and if you guys aren't familiar, if you've been in Magnolia and you've toured the house, you'll see a lot of different art pieces um, that have been throughout the home um, that live in the historic hotel rooms as well. Um, and and we, that's just a symbolism of how art um, and paying tribute to the artists and our local artists are very important to us. So a little bit, Miles Davis, not only do we know him as a musician, we also know him as a visual art, as an artist. Um, he actually did do painting and drawings um, at a point in his career. And so um, putting out this artist call, um, it really is for um, any visual artist who uh, take interest in being able to resonate with the history and the essence, if you will, of Miles Davis, mm -hmm. um, and then pulling together a, some tribute pieces, a tribute piece or some tribute pieces that we will include in our showcase um, to really highlight the uh, local artists here um, in, our, in honor of Miles. Um, and then of course the community will be coming out and they'll be able to see their pieces, purchase their pieces um, as a way to support them. And Natalie, that is all the time we have. Thank you so much for joining us and everyone at home. As you heard, there's plenty to do at the historic Magnolia House. For anyone interested in this artist call, you have until this Friday to get those submissions in. It is $10 per submission and the website is on your screen now to visit to always stay updated, thehistoricmagnoliahouse.org.